and he goes through and grabs the lead. My goodness. Ferrari win at Bathurst for the second time. Hi there. Welcome back to Studio 64. It's been a while since I've done an episode. But I'm back, and back with something really special from Tarmac Works, in collaboration with IXO Models, and an official licensed model from Ferrari. The Ferrari 488 GT3 Bathurst 12-Hour Race 2017 winner. But before I proceed, I'd like to thank our friends from Tarmac Works for sending this model, to be featured in this channel. Actually, they sent me three upcoming models to feature, which includes this model, and another Ferrari, the Ferrari 488 GTE, 24 Hours of Le Mans 2019, and this Gunther Works 993 model, which comes in a special package. Interesting. Oh and all these models are new toolings by the way. And if schedules push through, these models will be released on July 26th. So, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon for your alert on when these episodes on these new models come out. Having said that, this is not a sponsored episode. Hence, my review on this model would be fair and unbiased. As we unwrap the plastic cover on this model, here are some fun facts about the car. This Ferrari was driven by Craig Lowndes, Jamie Winkup, and Tony Villander, under Team Maranello Motorsport. It competed under the APP class, which is the GT3 Pro class, where they finished first, completing 290 laps in 12 hours. Packaging comes in this standard cutout sleeve box. This is a Hobby 64 model, meaning it's Tarmac Works' as Hobby grade model, hence you can expect highly detailed features. We have a Momo-themed artwork at the back, and on the bottom we find the standard literatures, as well as the Ferrari official product sticker. Always good to have one of those stickers on these models. Viewing this model on its base, I can say that this has a very nice stance. Sits quite low. And here it is. Detached from its base, this Ferrari 488 sure comes to life. First impression? I'm impressed on how detailed this model is. And quite neatly done as well. The Ferrari red pops, complemented by the race livery. Model feels premium, but quite fragile to the touch. It doesn't hold much weight to it, mainly due to the plastic base the Hobby 64 models have. Oh and this being a Hobby 64, means that handle with care is a must. And for those of you who know me, smooth rolling wheels are always a treat. However, for those of you who aren't familiar with Tarmac Works' as Hobby 64, the wheels of these models in this category hardly rolls. They're really meant for static display only. And while we're here at the wheel, let's have a closer look at it. We can see that the rear rim has a deeper offset compared to the front. The detail is pretty clean and sharp. An even closer look, we can see the center lug nut detail, as well as the distinct edges of the spokes. A well-molded rim I must say. The tire tampo of the Pirelli P0 is nicely done as well. Another notable feature we can see on this side, is this race car window opening. Apart from the window being quite clear, the opening is well made as well. Although I do see that the windows aren't installed flush to the body. There's a small gap along the bottom part. Side mirrors are part of the metal diecast body. It's detailed with a mirror sticker insert. I noticed this vent detail on this front fender. Though it's just painted on, it's quite a nice detail to have. Would have been awesome if it had a real mesh insert. I think one of the nicer features of this model are the headlights. They're huge, just like the real car. They're plastic lens inserts, that are nicely molded as well. I didn't notice this tow hook at first glance, only after doing a macro shot to it. 
quite a nice touch. Moving to the other end, the rear seems to be all in place. We have here the very distinct Ferrari 488 tail lights, which are color keyed plastic inserts as well. An even closer look reveals other features of this model, like the silver exhaust pipes, the rear tow hook, and of course, the Ferrari prancing horse badge, which seems to be embossed and glued to the body. Interesting. The rear wing on this model, I think, is made of plastic. It's molded really nice, with sharp and straight edges. It's firmly attached to the body, though better to avoid handling on this rear wing. This engine would be one of the two main features of this model. It nicely represents the real Ferrari F154 CB engine used in this car. I wanted to show you the whole engine, but the rear screw was too tight. For now, here's a closer look. And the other main feature of this model, would definitely be the body, and the race livery. I think Tarmac Works hit the nail on the head with this feature. The level of detail, and real-world accuracy is simply amazing. Check it out! And there you have it. The Ferrari 488 GT3, 12 hour of Bathurst winter 2017, by Tarmac Works and IXO models. My take on this? Well, in a nutshell, I really like this model. For a new tooling, this seems to be an accurate replica to the real race car. I can imagine Ferrari 164 diecast collectors would be very thrilled with this model. And I'm glad Tarmac Works now has a license to make Ferrari models. Looking forward to more models in the future. And hopefully, they would also make models in the Global 64 variant. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Do consider subscribing as well for more 164 scale diecast review. Happy collecting!